Well, as the title of the video says, uh, Chevy Trailblazer ABS speed sensors reading three miles an hour while the vehicle stopped is normal. That's what the whole gist of this video is about. So there's no fixing anything or, you know, any magic secrets. The It's right in the title. You know what I'm saying? So I had a Trailblazer come into my work and I was told to replace the electronic brake control module or what we call the ABS module. You know what I mean? And something was just weird because, you know, the original complaint was that at slow speeds, the ABS would activate, you know what I mean? Intermittently, of course. The technician noted that when he went into ABS data that all three speed sensors, you know, read three miles an hour with the vehicle not even moving. So the diagnostic was done with a Snap-on Solus, I think it was. So I just wanted to see what my Tech 2 would say, and it said the same thing, three miles an hour. So I went out in the parking lot into this, and this is exactly what I did. So I just went out in the parking lot, jumped in my 2003 Trailblazer, went into ABS data, and sure enough, three miles an hour across all three speed sensors. In data, engine data one, somewhere on here, there should be vehicle speed. Yeah, vehicle speed sensor zero. Well, this has got me thinking. I'm going to go and check the same things on my other two trucks here. So my 98 pickup and my 2004 Tahoe. So let's check that shit out. Well, here in my 98 Chevy pickup, 2500. Three miles an hour. Vehicle speed zero. Here I'm in my 2004 Tahoe. Wheel speed sensors read three miles an hour. Yeah, vehicle speed sensor, zero miles an hour. So here I've confirmed that on a known good Trailblazers ABS unit that the speed sensors read three miles an hour and further diagnosis was required. This isn't really something that's do it yourself, at least from my standpoint. My standpoint is I don't have time, you know, to, to measure AC voltage of the speed sensors individually. I don't have time for that. This is what I do. I ride around with the Tech 2 hooked up doing a live plot. And if one of the sensors glitches, I'll see it, you know what I mean? And at a complete stop, three miles an hour, even though the minimum on this plot is zero. I think what it would take for me to do something like that with some old school testing is to have one that has um, a repetitive ABS activation at low speeds here at home, not at work. And maybe then we can go through the, the troubleshooting steps without the scan tool and maybe even catch a bad speed sensor, you know, with a meter, at least on one of these trucks. But until that time, I really got nothing for helping out with ABS. The one that came to my work, data showed the left front speed sensor drop off at slow speed. So put a hub and bearing assembly on it, you know, complete with speed sensor and everything was cool. So I don't know, maybe it's a GM thing. Don't really know, don't really care. I've never needed to know that, you know, in, in years and years and years of fucking with these ABS systems on these things. So I don't know. I don't know. I get asked a lot of ABS questions, and I'm almost tired of repeating myself. It's like, your hands are kind of tied without, you know, some kind of a scan tool. I'm a little bit behind on the times, because I'm seeing now where people are able to go pretty far in depth using a, um, a cell phone and one of those little plugins for the OBD2 port. Some guys are getting ABS data. I don't know what that shows or how good it is, so I can't even vouch for that. So... Until I personally have my own hands-on experience diagnosing a car using just that, you know, I, I can't say that, you know, it will be doable with one of those. It's not that I'm withholding mysterious ABS secrets from everybody. It's just, without the tools, it fucking sucks. Anyway, I know this isn't a typical repair video because we didn't actually fix shit, but I think it's necessary to put that information out there because at least in one case, it led to a misdiagnosis, which shit happens. You know what I mean? Nobody's perfect. I'm sure this isn't the first time somebody saw suspicious data 
you know, and thought that there was something wrong with the module. It does happen, you know what I mean? But maybe this will help somebody out and avoid potential costly, you know, repairs. So thanks for watching and hit that fucking subscribe button like 14,000 other people have. Much appreciated. Put it there.